Alright, it's me again. Today I'm doing one of the daily jobs, feeding the reed. What I've got in the port lifter now is two strawage bales. We call it strawage, not sure what the rest of you would call it, but basically when we under sow our barley fields with grass, after we harvest it, we then go in with the mowers and cut it, and then we bale it so there's a mixture of silage and grass through it. Sorry, silage and straw through it. That was our 35 just there with the paddle on it for mixing the reed. And there's our forklift still knackered for the moment. The folk have not got back to us about uh, doing up the ram. So this box here is what we'd put on the back of the wagon that feeds the reed. This V separates the silage down either side. There's the augers that would chew up the grass, but because we're feeding bales at the moment, we can't use that. So that one on the left there was the cart shed, which would have been original for carts when the horse and carts were there. That's the stables where the, the horses would have lived. So here's the 135. That's our, uh, it's basically a dung spreader conversion for the old style. A rear discharge, but the big box was on the back of it to throw the grass into it and separate it. But because we're feeding the bales, it had to be taken off. So, unfortunately, the 135 wouldn't start. The cold got to it and knackered the battery for this. So, it's needing a new battery, to be honest, but we're just not getting round to it. So, thought it might start today, but it didn't, so I'll need to go and get the jump leads and bring the forklift around. Battery's easy access, just let the lid fire in. Pain in the ass, but what can you do? Yard's awfully slippy at the moment. I've drove out the reed to floor with a wagon. The wagon shoved the arse of the tractor around and I've nearly hit the shed that way. So the reed's four sides. I'm walking through the side I'm just about to feed at the moment. Um, so all we've got, got to work with what you've got. So does the job, the calves always come out pretty good. So here we go. Try and get this thing started. But oh good old girl works away no baller. The only problem is the battery. Don't make them like this anymore. Okay, so now I can go and fire the bales onto the back of this thing. Got my wee camera attached to the top there, so give a couple of different angles. Not the best, but better than the hunt, just thought it'd be quite cool. There's me checking if the camera's still working on my phone. Looks like a wee toy tractor for this angle. So there she is. The old style dung spread that's got a walking floor on the back, so when you fire up the PTO, it shoves the floor back and pushes all the silage or bales off. Nets off the bales now, so time to lower them on the wagon.
it's a hell of a tight getting in and out of these old sheds. Just take it as wide as you can. It's worse with a big box in the back, but because there's a big tail swing on it, but you get good at it. See us from a different angle, you'll see how tight you need to pull it, so you need to hold right to the right of this shed and then swing round and just touch the the wall. I'll try not to, but get as close to it as you can. And even at that, when you look back, it's ticked. So start the PTO up, down in the left, you pull a wee up, get the revs up, start the walking floor up. Very noisy, but it'll eventually shut the calves up because they've got some feeding in front of them. <laughs> As I said before, they do awfully well in here. They get these bales and then they get some cake just because they're so young. To drive right forward before you start putting the bales off the back, because I've done it before when I've been too close to the ramp end and the bales rolled back down and out the shed, which was not my finest moment, but shit happens. There we go, second bale's about to fall off. Any time now. Might have got a bit ahead of myself here, but... So basically, yes, this is how it works. I'll do another video of her when she's got the the box in the back here. It's just to get rid of these bales at the moment. So if you like my videos, like, comment and subscribe please. And I'll try my best to bring as much as you can for you to watch. Tractor aft.